so the, the resource planner that, that we've built for PPM really gives real-time access to the utilization, supply, and demand of those resources with inline spreadsheet editing and the ability to basically update the allocations via a spreadsheet uh, as well. So you can download your allocations and update. And we've done some things around visualizing utilization and, and assignments based on uh, you know, configurable color coding so that you can visually see how your team is assigned. And we've taken a, an approach that allows you to go um, across multiple resource pools and edit basically from an org structure perspective, update the allocations for all of the people that report to you in your org structure, regardless of resource pool or staffing profile. So a very efficient way for those resource managers that are, are managing a team of people uh, from an org structure perspective to be able to quickly visually see how their, how their people are assigned and, and to make adjustments to those. And then even the ability to see things like a resource check where you can get a, a picture of your entire team with a heat map type view of uh, how they're assigned versus their capacity or available capacity. And then finally, just some visualizations for your team and for the individual that signed in on, on what type of capacity or what type of demand they're, they're working on as well as their utilization percentage. So to get to the resource planner, you can embed it within HP PPM. And so this is a 9.3.1 version of HP PPM. And I can launch the resource planner from here. And this actually opens up a, a separate application. And when you first come into this app, you can see that it knows who I am. So it brought my username over from PPM. And then it basically looks to see which resource pools I'm a resource pool manager of. But it also pulls up my employee hierarchy. So in this case, it shows me having three direct reports. And I can actually go down here and you know, update the allocations for my direct reports. In this case, um, we're looking at it in, in FTEs. And I can update the allocations directly in this table. The other thing that you can do, though, is you can say, I want to see all hierarchy. And what that then does is allows me to see not only my direct reports and their allocations, but the allocations of my entire hierarchy. And then once again, I can go update these. So if I wanted to change this to you know, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, 0 0.5, I can go ahead and save that. And we call the HP PPM API, so this is all done via API to send the allocation changes back to PPM. And now you can see that change has been made. One of the other things you can do is the resource check where you can get a visual heat map view of where you have over and under assignments of your resources. And the rules for coloring these uh, are configurable within the solution. So you can say that if, you know, if it's more than five or 10% over, then we're going to color it uh, a red. And if it's under, we're going to color it green. And there's no allocation yellow in this example. But you can configure those rules so that your heat maps can be, can be colored. Um, the other thing with this table that is important is um, it's a very functional table. It allows you to do things like lock particular columns like you can in a spreadsheet. So if I lock these two columns, then when I scroll over, I can actually have you know, things like this, the staffing profile in sight, and then do my updates right within this allocation grid. Um, some of the other things you can also do with the columns is you can choose which columns you want to see. So if I, for instance, didn't care about category and location and title, I can remove those from that view. And then uh, I have an even smaller uh, a grid to look at. Now, we persist these changes on a user-by-user -user basis. So the next time that you come in, you'll see this same layout associated with it. If you um, want to change your planning window and say, we just want to go to the end of the year, we can change that planning window to the 31st of December. And all it does at that point is just shortens the window that you see here. You also notice this area here where it's grayed out. That means that the staffing profile ends in September. And so we won't allow 
data in here because if we send that back to the API, it would cause uh, the API to fail because you're trying to put assignments past the end of the staffing profile. Um, so then you can also download this um, to Excel and make the associated changes as well. So if I go ahead and say download the upload temp update template, I can open that Excel file, and when I open that, I basically get a list of what I had on the screen. And so this example, if I change these to back to one FTE, and I go ahead and save that file, so I'll just save this in my downloads directory. And if I go back into the solution, um, and upload that template. So I'll browse for that file and download, and it's this one here that I just saved. Go ahead and open that. And basically, this uploads all those changes into this same type of heat map visualization. You can even make edits here after you've uploaded the Excel. And then when you go ahead and save that, that processes all of those changes back to PPM via the API. So now if we look at those allocations, they're all back to one FTE. Um, some of the other capabilities are you can see that these are linked fields and these are linked fields. These can link directly into PPM. So this will open up that staffing profile directly in PPM. We can set up other uh, linked fields as well within the solution. You have the ability within each of these grids to search. So if I wanted to search specifically for somebody like June, I can go ahead then and update his allocations, make that save, and it'll send the allocations back and then requery the data within the solution. Fairly quick way to do the allocation updates across multiple staffing profiles and multiple resource pools, but you can also I have a, I'm a pool manager for two, two pools. You can also directly go into a single pool and do those allocations within the grid as well. And then down here, we basically have some reporting that focuses on, and right now this is reporting by staffing profile, but you can configure this to show demand and capacity by different types of work or things like that uh, as an overall view of, of what the demand and capacity is. The download for update allows you to basically update and add the allocations via the spreadsheet. So when you come into the spreadsheet, we do basically bring down the list of resources that you have access to based on your resource pools. And we allow you to associate that with a particular staffing profile and then upload the allocations against that. So you can add in here as well as modify and remove allocations. So when we remove, remove allocations, we know which position it's against. So we can remove those allocations. If you were to say, you know, say you wanted to blank out alloc all the allocations against this particular uh, staffing profile, you could do that and just upload it here and it would do that for you. We are in process of adding uh, the, the position-based planning to this so that we will be able to basically have the ability to see the allocations or the forecast or both of them at the same time and do those updates within, within the grid. And then from a spreadsheet upload perspective, there will be separate spreadsheets. You'll be able to do the forecast side as an upload and the allocation side is a separate upload. But within the grid, you'll have the ability to visualize both in this same grid with the coloring capabilities that will basically group that by position and then you'll be able to see that you have four, you know, four developers needed on a project and see who's assigned to those um, particular projects and group together. So that's a feature that is under development and we will release within within this month so that we have both sides of that as well.